So I have two rain barrels connected to this downspout. And as you can see from the overflow valve, the overflow pipe, I've already filled up the barrels and it's coming out the bottom here. Looks like I got a little debris in there. But it's coming out, so that means it's full. Pretty much at the top. So normally I have my downspout just running into the ground and it comes out close to the fence here near my neighbor's yard right over here you can see it right down here basically so instead of flooding my neighbor's yard all the time I decided uh, with all the new plants that I have in my yard I wanted to collect some rainwater to uh, use for watering the plants during the summer. So I made this table out of a bunch of 2x4s and 2x6s and I guess a few 2x8s. These are 2x8s on the top along the sides and the 2x6s along the bottom around the sides and the 2x4s are the little slats that make the table tops and the shelf top. And 4x to make the legs and uh, I leveled out the ground underneath it so the rain barrels were uh, even. I uh, put some paver stones down there and uh, did the whole nine yards, you know, putting the sand underneath. And there's Lucia. Hey, Lucia. Go ahead and see what's going on. So, um, and in the table, I made this picket which connects to a pipe, PVC pipe that runs underneath the table top and then that runs along to each barrel underneath. I put a shutoff valve on one side just so in case I had any problems or wanted to save the water in one barrel I could shut one off and it would still pour out this other barrel on the right. Let's see if I can get underneath there. So basically, I just ran PVC pipe up into the uh, one of the holes on each rain barrel. And I can give the uh, dimensions and all the parts in the description of the video. I'm not going to sit here and name all the pieces I used. I just wanted to take a video of how it works and what it looks like. And uh, I popped a couple holes in the top of this, Let's see if I can film that. Over here, I just used some uh, screen door mesh, screen door uh, screen. I glued it with some uh, silicone to make a good seal around it, but I got a, a hole in it. So when this fills up, the air has somewhere to go. And then on this side, where the water is actually going in. You can see it in action. I basically have a screen that I covered on top of a uh, piece that can be removed. And I can check the water level, I can check the debris, stick my hand in there. Uh, the water, when it fills up, goes over to the overflow and comes down, like I said, to this PVC pipe, which is uh, secured to the side to keep it from moving around, and then comes out into my normal overflow away from the foundation. Um, the pipe underneath is for my sump pump. That, uh, if you look at it from this angle, you can see sump pump pumps out from here into the same. Uh, same uh, side as the 
overflow. I do get a little water coming down my drain spout still. It's leaking out here. I gotta fix that. It's not a lot, but it does fill up the greenhouse steps right here. Since this is plugged up, I need to snake that and clean out the drain there. But it's away from the foundation. This is the lowest part of the whole house. And so all the water just kind of comes through here and passes by. So I'm pretty happy with it. I put this in a few months ago and uh, saved me a little bit on water. It's close to my greenhouse. Um, it's close to all my trees in the backyard. Um, still have a ways to go on planting some stuff. Got my smoke tree over here and all these Carolina cypresses that I rescued that were kind of ratty. But they're doing well now. Planted them a few months ago and they're taken off. I'll have a nice little privacy border of trees in a few years. And that maple isn't going to last forever, so as it starts to lose branches, I'm going to need some more trees. Hopefully, 10 years or so, they'll give me or whoever lives here the uh, privacy they need. But uh, I guess as far as the rain barrels, what I did, I talked about before, I, I painted these white. They were originally white, but you could see through them a bit. I wanted to keep the algae to a minimum, so I painted the rain barrels uh, with spray paint, this Krylon paint that was made specifically for plastic, and it did a great job. I put about two or three coats on, and I picked these barrels up uh, at a PepsiCo facility. Um, I guess it's near... If I remember right, it was Hyattsville. So it's a bit of a drive from Virginia, but for 10 bucks, it's kind of fun to go out and pick up three of these. I got an extra one in case I want to add on to the other side of the house. Um, wow, there's the uh, sump pump kicking in. Um, so yeah, it's been raining probably since the early hours of this morning. Uh, my barrels were about a third full each. Um, since it's been wet, I haven't been able to empty them all. I didn't need to water anything, and it's fall, so things aren't getting as dry as fast. So I guess I'll switch over to washing the car with it or other stuff. I really like this spigot, though. I mean, um, it does do a nice job now that I got uh, the nozzle pointing down, directing the flow. I just picked up the metal piece. I don't know why. Um, I'll probably replace that with plastic PVC just so it all matches. But uh, next year I plan on putting some type of water pump inside, like underneath the table and then running a hose inside so that it can actually pump out the water for me. It's a bit of a pain to do this by hand or put a hose on there. It just never really worked out where I got the force that I needed to pull all the water out or push all the water out. So. That should help. I'll be able to empl empty the waters and water everything faster because um, it takes quite a while just to carry buckets of water around and it gets old pretty fast. But the table uh, overall, I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's really sturdy. Um, keep in mind, there's probably when these are full, these are 100 gallons, 110 gallons total, uh, plus the weight of the equipment. Um, so that's. Uh, you know, nearing a thousand pounds basically on top of that table when it's full. So I want to make sure it was going to last and be sturdy. And I stained it with some uh, exterior stain to keep the water from rotting the wood. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with it. I haven't had any leaks or problems. As you can see, the there goes the uh, sump pump again. So we're getting a lot of water. Um, probably next year I'll direct the overflow to an un underground pipe that'll just run it somewhere else, maybe back near the trees, and direct it over there instead of just dumping all the water. I hate dumping all the water on my neighbor because she doesn't need that. And I get enough of my water from the neighbor up above me, and, but I have a lot more plants protecting my, my house. So, I guess I'll just leave that, uh, leave the rain barrel uh, with that uh, 
those last words. And, um, can't think of anything else. Um, I guess quickly. I, the way I put it together after I painted all these, I drilled appropriate holes with a uh, hole saw and um, then I uh, took the PVC and used some PVC cement to make sure they stayed connected, um, didn't move around, didn't uh, leak. Uh, I left like I think some joints wherever I had uh, thread, I just used some um, plumber's tape to seal it up. Like here you can see on the threads and back here on the threads and I cut a hole through the table obviously to kind of bring this picket through which I like it keeps all the tubes from looking too nasty so from a distance all you see is the table back here and the barrels kind of blend in with the house which I like I was thinking about painting them but I thought well this looks pretty and you know it looks pretty industrial back here with the bunch of plastic and tubing ramped up all over the house. I should mention too, I uh, attached the PVC to the house um, and then hooked up this diverter from Rain Brothers is the piece I bought online. That was really the only thing I bought that wasn't something I could make myself. It's just a rubber gasket that fits inside this, and normally it's a 3x3 three three downspout, but as you can see I got like a 4x3 and a half or whatever downspout so the diverter really wasn't touching all four sides of the downspout um, what I did was I modified the rubber gasket so um, there's these plastic pieces I fitted to the gasket that would help connect the gasket to the interior of the downspout that way as the water came running down the edges of the downspout not just in the middle Normally the water will come through the drain and uh, run along the edges and the sides, not just like straight down the middle. So the gasket then, on all si if it's touching all sides of the downspout, the water pools up along this little channel that the gasket forms and directs it to the, to the exterior of the gasket, which you can see is just the, the rubber connector that hooks up to the PVC. And the PVC is just stuck in there. You know, it's gripping it pretty tight. I can take that out before winter, and then I'll put uh, a cap on that, just a rubber cap that I can screw to the gap, to the um, downspout. That way, it won't freeze up a bunch of water and get a big ice chunk in there, ice flow. Um, so that's important. And I'll disconnect all the pipe before winter for the freeze, and uh, probably put the barrels in my greenhouse. Um, so, yeah, that's how it all works.